Good morning. This is Hawk TV for Monday, December 20th, 2021. Today is an A day, and it's just four days until winter break. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Well, of course, uh, unfortunately and sadly, we, we did not have school on Friday. It was a flexible instruction day, so it was an F day. So today is an A day, but you missed out on a lot of great things that we had on Hawk TV. We'll re recap some of them here, but uh, if you didn't get a chance on fr uh, Friday to watch the show, you really should go back and watch it. Uh, it was a great show. We had a new, a new opening from the digital communications classes, and we'll show that later in the week. And also Jackson, Jackson Kuhn uh, did a great job as usual and the, the crew putting on a show. So please check that out. You can find that on the patent website slash Hawk TV. And you can watch Friday's show and any show going back uh, to the beginning of the school year. Now also, speaking of Friday, and Dr. D has mentioned this in his weekly newsletter to parents, we'd like you to do two things maybe over the next couple days and over a break. And let's talk to your parents about the Safe to Say app, which is our re anonymous reporting system. And we'll have some refresher training of that when we come back from break, so that if you see something, you need to say something, something that's not right, something that's whether it, in school or something you'd see online. Uh, it, it could be about anything that you feel needs reporting, especially any, any threats or threats of violence. This took place Friday. so. Uh, it's important you use that. It's important at all times that you speak up, that you find a trusted adult, uh, whether it's your parents at home or whether it's a teacher here at school, or again, go go right to personally Dr. D or Ms. Nyer. Uh, but if not, you can use this safe to, uh, to say app, and we'll, we'll go over that again after break. But talk to your parents about it, and also talk to your parents about social media accounts, which obviously was in the sort of at the heart of what took place on, on Friday. Um, it's important that you know that you have this discussion with your parents about how these accounts should be used and what's good practice. And you know what that is because we've talked about it in, at school here and in digital communications classes, but even questioning whether you should be using these accounts at all and whether this is the right place to be for certain things. Um, it's important to know that these companies all have ways of reporting to them, like TikTok, reporting accounts that are violating the terms of service, they're violating rules. There are rules on TikTok about, about hate, about hate speech, about racism, about, uh, about violence. Uh, so there's, there's things that they need to address and maybe you and your parents need to alert them of, of things when you see them uh, directly. And one of the ways that you can do that is through their own app and, and other ways to do that is maybe consider not using the app. You know, maybe maybe just to delete the app and say, I'm not going to use this if they're going to allow the, these kinds of things to happen. Now, there's so many great things you can do with all these apps. It's a shame. And I'm sure you're tired of, uh, you know, the hurtfulness and the, uh, you know, the mean spiritedness of so many things we see, not, not to mention things like violence and rumors of, of you know, threats of rumor of threat, rumors of, uh, of threats of violence. But um it's important that we we understand that, um, that that we have a way to speak out. You know, we can be the change. Maybe we're and you should be tired of of silly and kind of useless challenges that, that, that some of these platforms like TikTok throws out that involve you know uh, destruction of personal property and, and things that are just to, to no good. Uh, be the change. And you can be that and be positive. We know you can. We, we know you're better than that. So um, th think about that. Talk to your parents about that. There's a great saying to consider uh, you're either part of the solution or you're part of the problem. So I think we should step up and, and try to be part of the solution. Now, one thing we missed not having Hawk TV Friday was a little clip from the choral concert on Wednesday. If you got a chance to go, it was a great concert. And uh, the shout out to all the students in our chorus, 6th, 7th, 7th and 8th grade chorus. And a big thank you to Mrs. Stratton and, of course, to uh, Mr. Hazel, who's filling in for Miss Leahy while she's out 
Um, so, so here's a clip that you missed if you didn't get a chance to see on Friday. Okay, also this week is Patent Spirit Week. Did you know today was Monday, a morning Monday? That means wear your pajamas. Tomorrow is Tacky Sweater Tuesday. Come on, we know you have a tacky sweater in your closet, at least one. Winter Wonderland Wednesday, so Wednesday wear blue and white. And Thursday is Holiday Hawaiian Day, last day before break. Thanks to Student Council for organizing this week. So get the spirit. And don't forget, you still can bring in a gift card for the Giving Tree, we have supported Kennett Area Community Services so, so, so many years. Like I said, more than 25 years, and we want to support them again this year. Uh, we have to do it in the form of gift cards, however, not with, with toys or presents. So bring a gift card, something you think would make somebody's uh, holiday a better holiday for them. Bring it to Mrs. Hamilton in room 138, uh, and you'll get to decorate an ornament to put on the Giving Tree. And an important message from Mrs. Rafferty, it's the time for forgiveness. That's right. We're going to forgive you if you owe a book that you haven't brought back. That's right. If you bring in the overdue material by Wednesday, the 22nd, we're going to eliminate the fines. So it's a great time to bring it in. If you owe something, you got an email from Mrs. Robertson, so check your email. Make sure you get all those things in. We want to start the new year with a clean slate and no outstanding library books or fines. And of course, stop by the library this week. Why? Well, to say hi to Miss Rafferty, enjoy the nice toasty fire. But also, you don't want to go through winter break without any good material to read. So pick up a print book or use Mac and Via. It's open 20, uh, 24 hours, seven days a week, even on holidays. Last week, our patent photographer spotted elves around the building. Can you name these elves? All this week, you will see in the library, the German Honor Society is sponsoring a gingerbread house contest, which be gingerbread houses made by our German classes, which meet first period. So the German classes creations, and it's your decision. You can vote. Now, you have to bring in some change because they're, they're, uh, they're raising money for a cause. So bring in some change, whatever you can spare, and then you'll get a chance to vote on your favorite house. The proceeds will be donated to Parent Project Muscular Dystrophy, a great, uh, a great cause. And again, all this week, or actually only till Wednesday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, check out the gingerbread houses. And also later in the week, we'll also have some performances from our orchestra as well. Uh, and of course, our band concert will take place uh, after the break in January. Can't wait for that. Here are today's band lessons as they're busy practicing. 817, beginners, uh, beginner flutes and clarinets. Sixth grade percussion at 902, 947 beginner French horn, 1232 sixth grade trumpet and French horns, 117 seventh grade study hall, and a hawk time advisory. And in case you missed this past weekend's birthdays, happy birthday on Friday to Tyler Amos, Hudson O'Toole, Harry Roberts, Molly Suarez, and Mr. Lewis. On Saturday, happy birthday to Taylor Casola, Layla Goodman, and Sean Triebenbacher. And happy birthday on Sunday to Ethan Hoffman and Drake Morley. And there are no birthdays today, 
Monday, December 20th. How does that happen? That's all for today. We'll see you tomorrow for another Hawk TV. Have a great day.